the village of Patrick's Well, situated here just a few miles south of Limerick City, was the setting for this year's annual motor vehicle and trade show. To give it its old Gaelic name, Tubber Porrick, is generally known as one of Limerick's hoarding strongholds, going back generations. But today it belonged to vintage cars, trucks and motorbikes. And the location was the well-renowned Limerick race course, complex and enclosure. The weather, although a little overcast on the day, thankfully held out. So after a quick cup of tea on arrival, we started out to view the trade stand. Lots of items were on sale here, including household, agriculture, horticulture, motor vehicle, marine and camper van. And if you needed some nice clothes, they were also on supply here at some very well decked up stalls on the site. This proved to be a very popular area and lots of people were moving around and business was brisk. next were the motorbikes, and through to form they came in all shapes and sizes, including Honda, Kawasaki, Suzuki, and the older versions of DSA, Norton, Boltaco, HAS, and Triumph Bonneville. And we also came across two very nice trial bikes, sported by Greaves and AGS. Yeah. 
I swapped the mini for one of the mirrors ago. What year is it, Tony? On our way to view the classic cars, we came across a very worthwhile exercise displayed here by Traffic Corps of the local Limerick Gardaí, whereby the children and teenagers were treated to a simulated drive in the squad car and motorbike in order to explain the dangers of excessive speeding on our roads and the grief that families go through after the loss of a loved one. This is the first time we experienced this public relations exercise and perhaps it could be adopted as a role model by other organisations and clubs throughout the country. It was now 2.30pm and with the constant walking around the compound aided by a fresh breeze, the hunger began to take its toll. So we headed for the main complex where a lovely menu of freshly cooked food was on offer. And without further delay, we took time out to enjoy. As the wise old saying goes, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. And at this point in time, we would like to offer our apologies to the management as the video clip for the downhill racing event failed to emerge. But we would like to add that it was a very enjoyable event indeed and a source of great entertainment and fun for the young folk. Next up were the classic and vintage cars. And of course, all the old reliables were present correct, including Mercedes 200, 220, 230, 250, 180, sports hood and convertible, four Cortinas Mark 1, 2, 3, Escorts Mark 1 and 2, E93 Anglia, Poplar and Prefect, Capri and Mustang. In the BMC section we had Morris Minor, Morris Traveller, Morris 8, Mini and Allegro. The Jaguars came in Mark 1 and 2, an E-Type, and this lovely 1928 Limerick registered Austin 6, which we regarded as our car of the show.
final feature of the day took place inside in the main complex enclosure. There was a big collection of Volkswagen Herbie Beetles and camper vans. All items were beautifully restored and in perfect working order. They ranged in years from the early 1950s to the late 1980s. The early ones came with the Bosch electrical system and a 6 volt battery. So we wasted no time in inspecting these beauties and browsing over the conversations of the people and the owners. Charge that. It's now five thirty PM and the crowd and exhibits are starting to leave. And it's time for us to head for the gap also. But it looks like an enjoyable day was had by all of the participants and the organising committee. And we certainly wish them very well in the future and in the years ahead. Well, I'm going to go to the Gummery Mishri Oigan Amshaharish, August Long Falls.